Welcome everybody to Kratom Gaming. Welcome back to Let's Go Pikachu. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And uh, this is episode three. And uh, in today's episode, since it's the third one, I thought we'd take a break from shiny hunting. I'm still in the middle of my chain for Boober, aka Magmar, but I thought I would show you guys <laughs> my shinies. So let's get started here, shall we? Here we go. I so I sorted. I think these are all my shinies. I'm pretty sure that um, I, what I did was I marked them. Anytime I got a shiny, I would mark it with. Uh, you know how you could use the different symbols. Well, well, you know, there's blue, and then you can mark all the different um, symbols, uh, orange or reddish, whatever color it is. And um, so what I did was I marked them all, my shinies, um, marked all the icons with the red. And so that way it's easier for me to find it and just, like, like sort by category. Since there's no shiny category, which, that's a shame. There should be a shiny category. Um, I did it this way so it would be easier for me to find specifically my shinies to show you, which is what I'm doing right now. Is specifically showing only my shiny so when I sort through I don't have to sort through all my Pokemon I could just sort through my shinies so here we go with and it's sorted by um, Pokedex number so obviously Bulbasaur so it is great stats Bulbasaur do you hmm I wonder if I should show you the great stat I'll show you I'll show you both I'll show you the stat all right switch back I'll just be okay so I'll show you this so nature the date met where and then um, as you can see the in the right hand corner of the screen it's it shows the uh, the red star which is the official icon of a shiny so that's just the games way of marking it I didn't mark that that's that red icon is the way the game shows you so Bulbasaur with great stats all right. Now next. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> we have a Venusaur. So basically, oh, I remember why I don't have a Ivysaur. It's because I was searching for a third shiny Bulbasaur, and I only have two shiny Bulbasaurs, and I haven't had the chance to evolve. So this one, I'm sure I evolved um, from my first Bulbasaur. My second Bulbasaur shiny is um, obviously still a Bulbasaur. So uh, what I planned on originally was get trying to go for the decks, the shiny decks, which is it's a huge project, but I think I I have a small chunk done anyway that it might be doable, maybe possibly. <laughs> so anyway, next. Oh, we didn't check the stats. Let me see. Amazing, which I think is the best. Amazing is the best stat. So best, 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 best on everything except for attack. Attack is good. All right. So next, Charmander with okay stats. Yeah, that's kind of a shame. But just having a shiny doesn't matter the stats to me. Just having the the shiny is good. So obviously one of my favorite Pokemon, Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, uh, pretty much one of my favorites. If not, it's in my top five for sure. Dragonite is is either number one or tied with uh, Charizard. And there we go. Once again, I only found two Charmanders, shiny. So that's why I haven't evolved uh, evolved it to Charizard. I don't have a Charmeleon, unfortunately, or in this case, Lizardon. So. I had had this habit of going through my Pokemon and naming them the Japanese name. So, Rizardon is his Japanese name. I think it looks so cool. I wish you could like move them around, look at them like 360. I don't think that's possible. So, anyway, yeah, I love the Black Charizard. So cool. Moving on, Squirtle. Again, Squirtle is hard to tell that he's a shiny the only way you can really tell is his shell if you barely see a shell hence why it's so hard to tell but um, yeah the shell is a different color but you can definitely tell with Blastoise purplish so kind of crappy stats but again 
Stats aren't important to me. What's important to me is shiny. Uniqueness. So, and they are definitely that. So, Blastoise. Next. Mm -hmm. Butterfree. Butterfree. Good stats. And, um... Yeah, I, uh... Adamant. Nature. So, yeah, Butterfree. Looks kind of cool. The shiny Butterfree. Moving on, Beedrill. I think Beedrill looks pretty cool with that green. Okay, stats. <laughs> I think so far my best shiny so far that I've showed you guys is Ven uh, what was it, Venusaur? Or was it Bulbasaur? No, I think Venusaur had the amazing stats. I'll have to check. We'll go back through. Once we get through all these, uh, we'll go back through again. I used a, pre a Premier Ball. <laughs> so when I caught this, I remember... I was thinking about using Premier Balls for all my shiny, but I was too scared that they would break out and run away. So I would be definitely use the berry every time to just make sure they don't break out and make sure I catch the shiny. I've actually had a few shinies run on me, which sucks. Um, but yeah, I wanted all my shinies to be in Premier Balls, <laughs> but that didn't work out at all because they just, yeah, they're not that great. Alright, next we have Pidgey with great stats. Pidgey. And again, Pidgey does not look that different as a shiny, so I don't know why they didn't, you know, change him a little bit, make him more radical. Because having a slight variation on color isn't to me doesn't really scream shiny. Ooh, look, that Pidgey right there is a little bit less brown. Or a little bit less tan, or more tan, whatever you know. Like if you saw if you saw one bird that looked like a normal bird, and then another bird that looked slightly like, discolored, like slightly off color, you wouldn't say like, "Ooh, look at that! It's oh my gosh, rare, shiny! Oh wow, I need to have that one." No, you'd be like, "Okay, yeah, it's just a different variant, not really shiny material, but nonetheless, cause shiny." <laughs> Next, we have an amazing stat, Pidgeotto. Best, best. Um, defense is okay. Special defense is good. Oh, wait. Now that I think about it, there is perfect stats. Perfect IV. That's 100. Where everything's the best. I forgot about that. Yeah. So, so far, we don't have any perfect. Shiny. Alright, moving on. Of course. Of course. Pikachu. Good, uh, best speed, best defense, best special defense, attack, HP, special attack, not so good. You'd think special attack would be Pikachu's, I know it's random, but if you just think about it, like, logically, you're like, well, Pikachu's special attack should be good. According to the anime, anyway, he's like, the best Pokemon, <laughs> according to the anime. Alright. Raichu, of course. I had to evolve him to have a shiny version. Great stats as well. So actually, my Raichu's better. Anyway, Raichu. Kind of cool color. Reddish, orangish. Grapefruit color, sort of. Alright, moving on. Nido King. Here's another example of it barely looks different. I mean, obviously the blue is for Nido Queen. So what they did was they just, they just alternated the colors. So Nido Queen, instead of being blue, is purple. And instead of Nido King being purple, it's blue. So <laughs> to me, all it screams is let's make everybody more confused about the whole Nido King, Nido Queen. Nidoran, Nidorano, that sort of thing. <laughs> Let's just make people more confused by switching the colors. Uh, to me, it'd be cool if they went, uh, you know, hmm, like reddish. It'd be cool if they went reddish for for Nido King, and then for Nido Queen, maybe go green. I don't know. But yeah, it's just blue. Looks like a Nido Queen, maybe the color of a Nido Queen, but it's a Nido King. All right. Okay, stats. And we have Golbat with okay stats. Now, I do like that color on Golbat. 
I do love that green. That one's more of a limey green. I'd say my, my favorite color green is more foresty green, but it's still a cool green. Go back. Go back. I'm trying to um to to not rush through too fast so you guys can see everything. And if, if I am going too fast, just pause the video. And if you want to look at the stats and everything. Pause the video. Moving on. Oddish, another color green that I like. That's really cool. Like almost all green except for his eyeballs. Good stat oddish. Oddish, oddish. Moving on. Great stat gloom. Gloom gloom. Gloom gloom. Hmm. Moving on. This is one of my uh, my other favorites. Just because he looks so cool being blue. He looks so cool. Or it's not even blue. It's like neon blue. Or, uh, I don't know, maybe sky blue. I don't know. That particular blue is pretty cool. Pretty cool, guys. I like this Psyduck. Uh, I wish I had a second Psyduck. I wish I had two shiny Psyducks because I would like the Gold Duck shiny. Unfortunately... I broke the chain, and I didn't feel like starting over. I could, eat, and you know, Psyduck is was actually one of the easier shinies to chain. I mean, I say easier, but he's still quite difficult. They're all quite difficult in their own way. Uh, but yeah, I really like that Psyduck shiny. And of course, one of my favorites in my top five shinies, the Golden Windy. Or Windy in Japanese, Arcanine. Windy. It's Windy in uh, Japanese. Windy, which is windy. Um, yeah, I love the golden Arcanine. I love it. Love, love, love it. Just who doesn't love gold? And he has amazing stats. So. I've, I've used him in several battles. He's pretty good. Obviously, his special attack isn't so good. <laughs> but he's, he, I think he has crunch and, like, physical attacks. It'd be kind of useless to gear him up with special attacks since his special attack is okay. But anyway, let's move on. Still, I love, I love Arcanine. I love Golden Arcanine. And I love regular Arcanine, too. And we have a Tentacoo. It's Koo. That's Tentacoo. Again, it's just it's just a slight variation. I mean, obviously, instead of red, it's green eyes or green head. Green area, whatever. And we have Geodude. Now, that is a shiny. That one's, like, more orangish. Goldish. Yeah, way more orange. But still, if it was actual gold color... I think it would look cooler because think about it. Geodude is rock ground type. It would be so cool if the shiny version of a rock ground type was gold. How awesome would that be, guys? It's such a missed opportunity that they didn't go like a pure gold color. This is more orangish. But just think about it. I mean, that would make so sense. Geodude, rock ground type, and its shiny version would be gold. It's like finding gold in a pile of rocks. Is it just me, or did they, does that seem like a missed opportunity for them? It's, to me, it seems like a missed opportunity. Sorry, Pokemon Company. You missed it. You blew it. But, I mean, all you really have to do is tweak his color a little bit. It's a little bit too much orange. Add a little bit more yellow in there. Make it gold color, and it would be perfect. It would make sense. Anyway, still kind of cool. Another one with amazing stats. What was this last one? Great. Amazing. Moving on. Okay, <laughs> Graveler. And an amazing stat, Rapidash. And there's another one that I love, the shiny version, because I love that blue flame. The blue fire. It's just so awesome. So awesome. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. I love Rapidash. Speed is surprisingly not the best. When you think Rapidash, you think speed. But nope, not here. Uh, it's okay, though. It's okay. 
He's still good. Moving on. Slowpoke. Here's another perfect example of it looks so similar. Can you guys even tell? If I show this to you without the little star, you wouldn't even know that this is a shiny. I can't tell you how hard it was for me to even see this Slowpoke. I didn't even know it was a shiny. Because look at it. It's There's no difference between that and the regular. Like, what were they thinking? Like, were they in a boardroom meeting and they're like, hmm, what color should we make Slowpoke uh, as a shiny? And they're like, hmm, I say we not even change him. He's too dumb to know he's a shiny. Let's just leave him. And they're like, yeah, well, yeah, that's a good idea. We'll just leave him pink. <laughs> because he doesn't look shiny at all. Like, seriously, I can't even tell the difference. Maybe he's more bubblegum pink. Than the normal one. I don't know. Not cool though. Not cool. Anyway, moving on. Now that purplish, yeah. When he evolves into slow bro, he looks cool because it's more purplish. But look. Pink. Purple. Why? Why wouldn't they just make him like purplish? I don't know. But I don't think it's that great. Or slow poke anyway. Slow bro being purple looks kinda cool. I'd say I'd say he's more lavender, but still, you know what I mean. All right, Cubone, greeny, lime green Cubone, pretty good. Yeah. Nothing, nothing too special here though. Okay, stats. All right, moving on. Now this one I'm proud of. This one I am proud of. Although I'm not proud of his stats, but I am proud of finding a Hitmonlee shiny. I found him in that Victory Road, I think. It was called Victory Road. In the cave. So. Pretty cool. Another lime. They really like the lime green over there. Because, well. This is more like a pea lime green. I don't know. But, uh. Yeah. I do like it, but they should have made it a little bit different from Cubone. And some others that are lime green. So. Moving on. Now, this is one of my favorites. Ebiwara. Hitmonchan. So, obviously, he doesn't have the best stats. He has great stats, but still not that good. His uh, his attack's very good. His speed's very good. And that's important for physical. Actually, no, I don't even... I don't ha have that much physical on him. I believe I have special. Wait, does... I, I forget. Does fire punch and ice punch count as physical or special? It's been a while since I looked at his uh, his stuff, but I know I, I fitted him out with all the different punches. All the different elemental punches. I'm guessing it's a uh, special attack, in which case, yeah, not so good, because his special attack is just okay. But again, I found him on the victory road as well. And yeah, just that, I like that lime green. Although I like it, although they use it a lot. Moving on. Sidon, Rydon. Now that's a good you know, variation. I like that. Tan versus the gray. That that to me is a good change. Very clearly stands out. I like it. Not so much uh, in the way of stats, but again, I don't care about stats. It's a nice bonus when there is stats that are really good, but I don't care about stats. I just want to you know, catch shiny Pokemon. Alright. And here's one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites. <laughs> I just love the green. They're green and pink mixed together here. Now, I really want one of these in Pokemon Go. <gasps> Somebody trade me. <laughs> I'll trade shinies. I'll have to look at what shiny... I think I have a lot of shiny um, Beldums. I think I, for the Beldum... Beldum? Is it Beldum? That was a community month. Anyway... I want one so bad in Pokemon Go. I really want one because I love Chauncey, aka Lucky. His name is Lucky, in or her name is Lucky in Japanese. So Lucky, I want the Lucky because Chauncey is so good. Anyway, and here Kangaskhan. This is another perfect example of him not really changing much or her. 
Um, if you didn't see that red star, you couldn't even, you probably wouldn't even tell the difference. So it went from like a brownish brown to more of a grayish brown. Not really that good of a difference, in my opinion. I mean, just think of all the colors. All the colors. Just think of all the colors. There, there are tons of colors. And they barely change these Pokemon. I don't understand the thinking and reasoning behind it. It's like, make them different. If they're shiny, one of a kind, make them clearly different. Like, I would have gone... I don't know, you could have gone like full-on dark forest green for his skin, her skin. The belly could have been like a grayish. I don't know, like anything but, you know, that. Because <laughs> you can barely tell. Anyway, let's move on. So best, 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 best. Special attack, special defense aren't so good. So it's mainly a physical. But still, amazing stats, that's pretty good. I'll take an amazing stat. Shiny. I'll take any shiny, actually. Like I said before, it's a super nice perk and nice bonus when you get a shiny plus a good IV. So, doesn't happen very often, but at least not for me. But uh, yeah, moving on. Scyther. Scyther! <laughs> this one is so close to being perfect, except for his HP. Like, look at that. Best everything except for HP. And I know... I was just talking about how stuff is uh, too similar, and it is too similar to regular Scyther. Regular Scyther is like a light green. This is more of a forest green, the kind of green I really like. Um, I And I do love this color. I do love Scyther at this color. I just wish that, uh, you know, it wasn't so similar. But again, I do love, this is probably one of my favorite variants, just because, yes, I, I'm a sucker for green. So, <laughs> sucker. All right, moving on, shall we? Kentaros. Kentaros. I really want one of these in Pokemon Go. I don't even know if they even have a shiny um, Tauros in Pokemon Go yet. I don't know if they've released all the Pokemon shiny versions yet. I should look that up. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments uh, if they've released all the shiny variants. I. I I think I remember they didn't have, last I, you know, looked into it, they didn't have a Tauros shiny variant in Pokemon Go, but I do like it, obviously, because it's more greenish. So, it's a shame he has crummy stats, because I would probably use them in battle, because I, I, I've used them before in previous games, like uh, Fire Red Leaf Green, he was my normal fighter, he had like all these normal attacks, so he was like... Yeah, had a, actually, it wasn't my normal fire. He had normal moves, but I think I remember putting Earthquake on him. Earthquake and something else. Anyway, he was good, a uh, good all-arounder because he had m multiple uh, attacks for different en enemy types. So he was like a good all-arounder, all around. All right, we have an amazing stat, Gyarados, and now I keep saying this, but this is one of my favorites. Chinese. Obviously, it's so different than the normal version, and I just love red. You know, I said I love green. I love red just as much as green. I'd say, um, you know, how people are like, well, what's your favorite color? And I'm like, well, I don't really have one favorite. I have two, green and red. If, you know, somebody, you know, really wanted one definitive answer, it would be green, but red is a close second, if not tied. I love red and green, especially red and green combined together. So anything red and green, anything. But I love Gyarados, red Gyarados. Love, love, love it. I've always loved it ever since I saw it in um, in the first game. All right, moving on. Another one of my favorites, <laughs> I have lots of favorites. Lapras, I love Lapras as a Pokemon and I love the purple shiny Lapras or Rapurasu Rapurasu in Japanese Rapurasu I just love the purple I love the purple I'm, I'm not like a fan of purple normally nor is it my favorite color but Lapras heck yeah that works that definitely works for her you know it'd be cool too if they went pink if they went pink oh wow yes pink would definitely go well with her but uh, even the blue, like the normal color of Lapras, 
is really good. So um, yeah, I really like um, really like Lapras purple, but if they went pink, that'd be amazing, or even green. <laughs> Obviously, I love green. So moving on, another one of my favorites, Porygon, Porygon shiny. Got that blue and that uh, purplish, purplish pinkish. Porygon. So, I, I've always liked Porygon. Always. I remember in the first game, the only way you could get them is by gambling. <laughs> you know, getting the coins, the poke. What was it? Poke coins or something? Or the tokens? And then you exchange the tokens for, you know, different Pokemon. Porygon was like the most expensive one, if I remember correctly. <laughs> so, yeah. Moving on. Another one that I'm really ashamed of and disappointed I love Snorlax but Snorlax's shiny looks so like you wouldn't even know if I told you that this was a normal Snorlax you guys would probably believe me because it looks so similar like that's what I don't get about this situation guys like when they're sitting around thinking oh, what color should we do for Snorlax's shiny variant and they're like hmm let's just do dark blue but boss it's already bluish why would we do, we should do something opposite like you know pink or purple or green or, or brown or, or or gray no 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 don't question me you're fired it's dark blue that's final <laughs> uh man it does not look good it just looks like a normal snorlax anyway it's a shame it's just a shame let's let's keep going we're almost done um, and then I'll just cycle through all of them real quick and wrap up for this video. It's a little extra long video, guys. Thank you for bearing with me. And, uh, yeah, let's just go to the next one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Can you guys guess what, uh, how I feel about this one? You guys know I love dragons. You guys know I love green. You guys know I love dragon type. So, what do you think I, I how I feel about this one? This is my baby. This right here is my first level 100. It's my my favorite Pokemon of all time. It's my favorite shiny version of all time. It's the perfect color green. I love that color green. I love that Pokemon. I love, love, love this shiny version in this Pokemon in general. And it's my buddy in Pokemon Go because I love it so much. Green and Dragon. Heck yes. Even if it was red or blue or purple, like if they changed and made it something else, I would still love it. Green is just the bonus because I love green. But if it was any other color, I would still love it because it's a dragon type. Dragon flying. I love dragon. So, love it. This is my buddy in Pokemon Go. And, uh, yeah, I love this so much. So, so much. I want to actually go back and farm Dratini and try to get two more uh, shiny Dratini so I can keep one. I love the pink Dratini and Dragonair. So I really, 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 maybe after this, after we catch uh, Magmar, the boober, uh, we can go back and Dratini hunt so we can get a shiny Dratini and a shiny Dragonair because I really, really, really want to keep one, have one of each evolution shiny. So keep one shiny at Dratini, keep one shiny. In fact, you know what? Now that I said that, I'm going to. Yep. That is going to be our officially our next Pokemon we're going to go for to Shiny Hunt is Dratini. I know there's other Pokemon that I haven't even caught yet because I don't have all this, the you know Shiny decks. Uh, but still, I don't care. We're going for Shiny, Dratini, two of them. So, anyway, <laughs> I love this Pokemon so much. Uh, moving on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. You see that right? You see that right? This is what I chose to use my Master Ball on. Is Mewtwo. I'm just gonna, you know, sit here and be quiet for a second. Let you guys uh, soak in what you're, you're feasting your eyes on. You know how I said that um, I love green? Well, this just... And I love Mewtwo. This just makes... This is probably on par with shiny uh, Dragonite. It's not Dragon type, obviously, but I've always loved Mewtwo. And a green Mewtwo, oh my gosh. This is probably 
my second pride and joy obviously dragonite shiny is my first this is my second shiny mewtwo amazing and it took me forever to do to find him so oh man i love it i love shiny mewtwo naughty it's naughty so naughty <laughs> and it's uh weighs 294 pounds height is seven foot so anyway guys that's it going back through I'm just gonna cycle through really quick as I finish talking about um, everything. Just to, to show you guys, once we get to Mewtwo, that's where I'll end it. So, just to give you a quick recap, I'm just gonna quickly go through them all. Um, but yeah, so next time, guys, my after I get the uh, Shiny Boober, I'm definitely going for Shiny uh, Dragonite. Or, I mean, sorry. <laughs> shiny Dratini and Dragonair. That's what I'm going for next, because I love the pink. Um, as as I mean, I don't really necessarily like the color pink. That's not my favorite color, but shiny dragonair, shiny dragonite. I do love the color. So guys, that is it. That's uh, we'll end. I know it's an extra long episode, but um, yeah, those are all my shinies. And obviously, I'm on top of one of my favorite shinies, I, uh, Golden Arcanine. So, we're still in the process. We still have a chain for Boober, aka Magmar. And I'm going to go in and um, we're, we're going to go try for Boober again. So, be sure to, to stick around. Or, not stick around. To, to stick around for the next episode. Guys, watch the next episode, episode 4. And check out, uh, see if we can have some luck in catching Boober. And um, if not, we're going to keep doing this until we find Boober. And then I'm going to find try to find Dratini. Two Dratinis is what I want. And then after we, sorry, hit my mic. After we find the two Dratinis that we need, the two shiny, then I'm going to just go in order of the Pokedex and go down the list and see who I need. And boom, that's what we're doing. I think I need a, a shiny Ivis, Ivysaur. So that means we need to find the shiny Bulbasaur. So, yeah, I, I probably will go down the list, but only after I get Dratini. Two shiny Dratinis. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this um, special third episode. Um, third episode shiny edition. <laughs> I need to work on that title. But yeah, yeah, this is the third episode of my Pokemon series, uh, Let's Go Pikachu. And I wanted to do like show you guys all my shinies on the third episode just because I thought that would be cool. Um, and then we're like I said, we're going to continue trying to find the shiny Boober. And then we we're going to find the shiny Dragon uh, Dratini. Excuse me. So that's the plan of action, guys. Thanks again for joining me. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next episode. Have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Take care. God bless. See you later.